I recently did a video on post-it note leadership, which is a phrase that one of my clients used to talk about a leader that basically led by post-it note. You know, there was very little in the way of team organisational meetings, but it was just duh, 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 and she'd come back to a desk covered with post-it notes. Anyway, I'm sure we all have a post-it note, but not that much. And it got me thinking about some other acronym uh, analogies that I could use for leadership. And in the UK, we've got a particular problem with potholes in the road. And I don't know if this translates into other languages. Forgive me if it doesn't. But in the UK, there's um, in certain towns, there's a lot of holes appearing in the road and they haven't been repaired and they get worse over time. And they, they absolutely wreck people's tyres on their cars. So I thought about this and I thought, hmm, well, I've talked about post-it note leadership. Is there such a thing as pothole leadership? And I think there is. So how would I describe pothole leadership? And I'd love to know what you think about pothole leadership. Put a comment below or if you've got any other analogies for different types of leadership, then leave a comment and I'll do a video on them. So pothole leadership, what is it? We know there's a problem, but we're going to carry on anyway. We don't address the problem. Our team members have fed back to us that there's an issue in the way. There's a blocker from us achieving what we need to. The team gets frustrated because they've perhaps been asked for feedback and it's not been acted upon. That's really demotivating for people or they've not been asked for feedback and they can see the problems in the road, the potholes that are going to ruin the car, ruin the tyre, ruin the bus, you know, the, the team bus. So I was thinking about this and um, sometimes pothole leadership can be where problems are not addressed because we don't want to address them to upper leadership. We don't want to look like a failure. But actually about, I can't remember the exact number, but over 95% of an organisation's or a team's problems and issues are not understood by leadership. And that's because leadership, you know, very often focused on managing the board, managing shareholders, all sorts of different stra strategic activities that they can't possibly be close to everything. So the teams very often know what the issues are. And I definitely had this experience in when I was working in logistics where there was a, a particular site and the, the morale was so low and the, the, the leadership team were jumping to solutions. And I actually asked the question of, well, do we know what the problem is. Do we actually know this? Are we solving the right problem? So then I went into the site, had a meeting with them. We had a listening session and it was such an easy fix. It was such an easy fix that could have been fixed ages ago. And then the performance and the motivation of the team locally went up. So sometimes, you know, those potholes remain uncovered and over time they only get worse. So as a leader, are you ignoring any potholes and is that stressing your team out? Ask yourself that question. If you've got any more examples or analogies of post-it note leadership, as I talked about before, pothole leadership, um, last minute leadership, whatever it is, drop me a comment and I'll see if I can do a video and share an example.